Hello everybody! It's been a while since we did a little bit of a reaction and analysis, and there are two trailers that are brand new that I'm going to be doing some of that. Um, my feed's been blowing up constantly. I'm not going to watch the full live stream. we're just going to react to the 4.8 version trailer and the Natlin preview teaser. People told me that they were excited about Natlin, and I'm also very excited for Natlin, and I'm excited to watch that trailer. But first things first, 4.8, and I can already tell by looking at the thumbnail that I'm going to be getting a lot of what I've been asking for for a long time. Here are some summer essentials, a refreshing fragrance to soothe the restless emotions in sweltering sun, a storybook you've never read to brighten the lackadaisical holiday, and just a hint of looming peril to satisfy your curious minds for eager for secrets. So we got Zachary Gordon, Karina Voucher, Amber Avilas as Emily. This is the character who's been in the drip feed. I know she's supposed to be a perfumer from Fontaine. That's all I know about her. I guess she's going to be in the summer event, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Julia Gu is Kirara, Nilu, Dan Chambers, Navia Brenna Larson, and Patrick Pedeza, Pedreza the, for Wanderer. Oh, they're not listening to him as Hat Guy anymore? <laughs> Anywho. I guess it'll be neat to have uh, Wanderer in an event again. It was kind of interesting to have him for that last Sumeru event that we did with Kave. Layla. Anyway, let's get into it. It's about two minutes. Let's go see what we got. Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition. Flower exhibition in Port Ormos? What strange smell around here. Is it spices? Surround and yourself with music? fragrance for too long. Oh! And your sense of smell Emily's in Sumeru. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions. And is it Kaveh in a dress like everyone's been memeing? I mean, I've already I'm seen Emily, what her design looks like. A perfumer from Fontaine. I like the design. I think people are exaggerating a little bit too much. Didn't know she was a pole arm though. That's news to me. Then again, I'm biased. I have a thing for glasses this characters. Will up the place. No clue what her kid does though. No clue at all. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. What is this place? The, the chubby paper hamster just talked. Chubby paper hamster. Morning. Huh? Huh? It, it wasn't just a dream? Oh no. Like this uh, Nickel Mata friend of yours. She doesn't eat hamsters, does she? I remember I was okay. reading a book at the Grand Bazaar. Well, then Finally, I woke up this is the thing this. that I was hinting at earlier. Something that I have asked for for the longest time. I wanted a new outfit for Nilu. So this is what it feels like to ride Ooh, a toy, toy train. train. I love You're it. Really easy to please now. Anywho, I I brought this up every single time that Nilu has been on screen. But it's always been a little bit of annoyance to me that. Nilu made this outfit for the Sub Zero's festival, and that's her default outfit. We never actually got to see what her actual everyday walking around outfit is. Because the default outfit for her skin is the outfit we get. To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. Dragon responsible. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Sorry, I went off at a tangent about something that I've complained about for the longest time. Also, that Karara skin looks amazing. But I want to go through this from everything past where Nila was because I got distracted because I wanted a new outfit for Nilu for the longest time. She's in an outfit dressed up as the goddess of flowers 90% of the time. That's not her normal outfit, but we keep pretending it is. And I guess we're going to finally get a new outfit for her. And it still almost looks like she has a horn motif going on, all things considered. Look at the Wait, you just woke up dressed like this? Bizarre. Wait. Well, then I woke up dressed like this. I bet we're trapped in a storybook. There's a few books you can travel inside <laughs> so of in Fontaine. What it feels like to ride and I bet that's going to have something to do with You're this really event. Easy to please or it's just yet. going to be a special domain. Choo -choo. Aerial Express, I love out. trains. I don't know if anyone's ever had the opportunity to talk with the Ant Lang, but I grew up watching Tom's the Tank Engine, and I'm a huge fan of trains. If you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Inter Darshan Championship. Oh, we're doing another Inter Darshan Championship soon? responsible for this whole mess. A giant toy dragon. That looks fun. I'm excited. 
Summertime scales and tails. All right, let's go look at this with a fine tooth comb. What do we have here? A thousand cents traced. Fontanian perfumer who bottles secrets is what I'm assuming that says. Fontaine. Yes, it does say secrets. I already mentioned polearm user. Is that a new polearm? I don't recognize it immediately. Then again, I haven't done all the craftable polearms. I don't have that many polearm characters. So I haven't really looked at polearms. Until I pulled Arlecchino, I actually didn't really look at the polearms I had. I think I had like a Dragon's Bane. And that was like the only four-star polearm on my account. Might It might still be. <laughs> So we're going to be in some sort of storybook land with origami creatures. And that seems to be the premise of the event domain. Huh? Huh? And I guess Navia didn't expect to be here. It, it wasn't just a dream? Or what? Like Carrara. This uh, Nekomata friend of yours. So we're getting Carrara here. This will be the second or third event involving Carrara that we've had to deal with now that I think about it. Because Carrara was introduced to during an event which i'm still annoyed about to be honest and i'm going to complain about that here because she was in introduced in the 3.7 invoke G genius invocation tcg event alongside charlotte carrara and charlotte debuted basically in the same patch update and i kind of always get annoyed with these limited time events introduce characters they did the same thing in star rail but because these limited time events didn't stay limited time i give them a pass i'm still angry about it but i give them a pass I've already ranted on and on and on about we're finally getting a new outfit for Nilu. I could talk more about the outfit for Karara, but it's cute. I don't think we needed a new outfit for Karara. I'm happy she has one. I would like everyone to get a new outfit eventually, including you, Mr. I don't want to change outfits. Paimon can get an outfit too. If, if Traveler isn't going to get an outfit, we should get a new outfit for Paimon for every single region. You hear that, Hoyo? Make it so. Paimon skins. Customizable Paimon. Put it in the game. I'm begging. And then I already ranted on about trains. We're in some sort of toy land. And I guess Wanderer is here to fight a dragon. Although I did notice that he said that we're going to be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. That was the event with... Ka that's actually, I think, the last event I mentioned earlier. That That's the last event that we had Wanderer in. So it's interesting to see him again in another event. Um... Even though I think he also debuted an event, which I didn't know about until someone had told me after the fact. Apparently there was an event that came out before I started playing the game, back in like version 1.1. I think they called it Unreconciled Stars or something, and that's where they debuted Scaramouche in the event. Ah, god, I hate it when games do that shit. Alright. I think that's all I have to add here, so let's just jump straight into the next video. Now... One of the regions I was the most excited for, besides Fontaine, was Shneznaya. <laughs> I'm joking. Natlin I'm excited for, too. But, uh, let's check out this Natlin preview teaser. It seems to only be about a minute 16, so I'm not expecting much. I'm expecting about as much as we got from the last Natlin teaser, where we only got to see a few different characters. Or, I guess, the Saurians is what we saw in the last trailer? The weird dragon pet thingies? Oh, number four on trending. Okay. Mishaps are inevitable when traveling alone. But with friends by your side, even misfortune can sometimes turn into a blessing. And no voices, so I guess this is just going to be a teaser for the sake of teaser. I don't like doing reactions to teasers. Because they're really short and there's not a lot of comment content for me to really comment on. But let's go do it. I was about to say, did I forget to turn the sound on? It's got a little fire ferret. It's giving me Korra vibes. Is that Snooky Girl? Like Sai like uh, Sayu, but not. Ooh, hang on. I want to get a closer look at her design after this. That is cute. It's like a little car. It's a drill going down. Do enemy variety. characters that are going to be playable. I haven't noticed a vision on any of them yet. If they... Ooh, shark. 
That's cute. I love that. Okay. I like that guy's outfit. He kind of gives me like a Street Fighter type of vibe. Alright, let's get a closer look at each of their designs real quick. So are these going to be like our new playable characters, or are these going to be like NPC enemy types? So we have a tan girl in like a clamshell bony motif, bow, midriff, eh, I like the braid. There's so much going on here. I like this outfit. I liked the little carton around on the drill. That was kind of neat. Is there a gnosis on any of these characters that I can spot? I don't think I see one. Unless this is what gnosis look like in Natlin, these tiny little square things. Is this the gnosis here? I'll be honest. If Genshin Impact came out today, this would be what the protagonist design would look like. This is what I imagine the protagonist of Genshin Impact would look like if the game came out in 2024. So yeah, out of the three designs, I think my favorite one is the one with the hair accessory that makes her look... Because I can't tell... The one... I like the hat. I like the little visor. I like the fact that she's got her sweater tied up at her waist. And I like the visor with the gold emblem on it. Those are some interesting gloves, too. Overall, design-wise, I'm also a big fan of this. He's got the coat also draped around his waist. And... Frankly, this other design here... Oh, wow, I didn't get to look at it from the back. What are those shoes? What are you wearing? Those look like rollerblades, almost. I like this guy. He's got what the, looks like the Wheel of Giza from freaking Elden Ring. Or the Pizza Cutter, as some of my friends like to lovingly call it. Got Man with Club, Man with Wheel, and... Is that a... What's it called? The weird, like, club thing where it's got the ball end? I can't remember what those are called. I still think uh, this little character seems to interest me the most because of the whole drill thing. It reminds me of Kirara's uh, elemental skill that lets her traverse stuff in the cat box. So we have bunny girls. So everybody write that down. We have bunny girls in Genshin now. Amber, you don't count. I'm assuming she's Geo. Because we saw the Geo Saurians that were basically doing the same thing that she's doing. Actually, I should get a better closer look at this. This seems to be like a, a preview of the whole region map. Yeah, let's just look at that a little bit by a little bit. So this looks like a town here. This looks like some side of ruin. Bunch of lakes. That looks like a town there. I wonder if that fishing is an idle animation. I like that she has the little uh, paw pads on the bottom of her shoes. This seems like a cool ability. That's going to be a fun character just for movement and traversal. I'm not sure if uh, there's any much more for me to add. Well, I'm going to go quickly edit this up so that I can post it on YouTube before the day closes out. Thank you, everybody, who stopped by. If you would like to see me do more reactions and analysis to stuff, the way to do that would be to join the Discord. We do occasionally do this live, and I am live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash sheetstreams. We do that Tuesdays and Thursdays every single week. And the Discord is where we will notify people of any times that the schedule has been altered or if we'll do a bonus stream. Right now, the only plans we have for the near future is I'm going to be trying out the new Genshin Endgame this week. And upcoming, we're going to be probably doing the version 4.8 live stream. I don't have any plans to pull for any characters for the foreseeable future because I'm broke, basically, and grinding up character Not so much broke out of game, but I'm broke in-game at this point. I don't have the mora to be building characters anymore. It's just too time-consuming for me to build new characters, so... All future pulls I'm going to be doing from this point on are probably just going to be signature weapons for characters I already have. 
and that's probably going to be the plan moving forward on the channel. But if you'd like to change my mind on that, or maybe get me into talking me into doing anything else, the way to do that would be to join the Discord. Well, I've ran out of things to talk about here, so I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs>